From Phoenix Shaving, Platinum Strangelet Razor Blades. That means this shave is going to be 100% Phoenix Shaving gear. Start to finish, wire to wire, coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com, I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by, great to see you again, really appreciate you sharing your time with me. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, we talk about all things traditional wet shave here, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Brand new item from Phoenix Shaving, just arrived a day or so ago. Their brand new razor blade. These are the Platinum Strangelet Super Sharps. That's right. Now, what is a strangelet? A strangelet is a hypothetical particle or a small body of strange matter. According to the Phoenix Shaving product page, it's also a most epic double-edged razor blade, both sharp and smooth. Now, these are double-coated with Platinum and PTFE. The strength and versatility of this blade comes from imported Swedish steel. The dual coating ensures durability, lower friction, and drag reduction over multiple uses. This means it's super smooth and consistent. And we're going to shave with these. And it's going to be a 100% all Phoenix shaving shave with their gear. Everything in this shave is going to be from Phoenix shaving. That is fantastic from wire to wire. Everything is from Phoenix Shaving. I'm really excited about this. So we're going to go ahead and get a tuck of these blades right here. Let me set this aside. And we'll talk about what else we're going to be using. I'm going to be using uh, the Cube. I'll be kicking it off with the Cube 2.0. I'm using the one with activated charcoal uh, that's also mentholated. My shaving soap is going to be Space Nog. Yeah, boy, this is an absolutely beautiful scent. Terrific for the Christmas season, but you can use it year-round if you want to. Uh, my brush is going to be the brand new Star Wisp. This is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful brush. I am really enjoying it. It's great for face lathering, and we are going to do a face lather. I'm also going to keep it nice and warm in my Phoenix Shaving Brush Scuttle. Uh, my razor is going to be, well, uh, you know what? Brand new blade. Got to use the top end razor from Phoenix Shaving. My opinion, that is the Copper Ascension right here. Absolutely beautiful. Great weight. Dual open comb, twist adjustability, solid copper. That means it's going to retain a lot of heat and really add to the experience of a warm shave. So uh, we're going to run this under some hot, hot water, and it will really retain that heat. So I'll have a warm lather, and I'll have a nice warm razor. Looking forward to that. I'm going to finish it off with the Allen block, with the no-slip grip, and the dry dock system. And also, uh, Space Nog Aftershave and Cologne, and Space Nog Star Jelly for upstairs. Did a head shave yesterday, so I'm all set for that. So, uh, let's go ahead and load this razor up right now. Let's get that blade installed. And uh, the twist adjustability will allow me to kind of gauge the effectiveness of the razor over a range of uh, different aggressive levels, which is nice. Now, take a look at this. How about that labeling? First, look at the look at the labeling on the package. That's absolutely wonderful. It stands out. Really, really terrific. And of course, there it is again on the actual blade wrapper. That is marvelous. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's open this up. Try to do it on front of camera here. I tend to want to go down. Now, again, beautiful. These are double wrapped. Look at that. My first time opening up. This is my maiden voyage with these blades. First use of these blades. That is terrific. Double wrapped like that. We're going to set that aside. Let's open this guy up here. There it is. Oh, man. It's wonderful, wonderful labeling on all of this. Platinum Strangelet. Phoenix Shaving. Check that out. How about that, huh? Isn't that nice? That's fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, let's load this right here into the cap, like that. Get that in there. And then we'll get the uh, base plate on top of that. 
Okay, we'll hold that like that. Here's my O-ring to increase adjustability, although I don't really increase it that much. And we'll attach the handle. And again, I'm going to snug it all the way up and then we'll back it off on that first pass. All oh, the alignment and balance of this razor is spot on. Just terrific. End tabs of the razor blade are enclosed. There are these wonderful notches right here on the ends of the razor head that allow you to get a nice grasp of it when you're twisting it and adjusting it. So I'm going to give this about a, almost a quarter of a turn right about there to start off for that first pass. I have two days worth of beard growth here. So that's a good starting point for me. Let me take these and set those aside right there. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, cube 2.0 for my pre-shave. The uh, Space Nog Shave Stuff, if I forgot to tell you, is in Formula CK6. This step serves as a good degreasing of the skin, really preps the beard well. Okay, let's rinse. All right, let's just put a little bit more on there. We got some water on the face as well, which is okay. That'll help generate some lather because CK6 really, really likes water. Okay, there we go. All right, now let me get, uh, got, a, got a towel here just in case, just to kind of keep that slickness down from the shave soap and the lather, because it can get slick. Here's some little hot water on top of the soap there. Going to just dump that in. Here is my uh, Star Wisp brush right here. I'm just going to give it a little ring. Got some water in there, water on the face. Just going to go ahead and get a little bit of a brush load. You know what? This is, see, this is what I like about CK6. You don't really have to load a lot. That's about all I'm going to need right there, believe it or not. That's it, and it's going to make heaps and heaps of lather. This stuff is wonderful. And of course, the key to CK6 is water. It likes water. So just add a little bit of water as you go, like I'm going to do right now. Nice and warm, too. That's marvelous. I love this scent. It is... It's got that hint of bay rum, which is just amazing, which is why I say you can use it year round. It is wonderful. Star Wisp is a fantastic brush for face lathering, as you can see. Look at that, huh? I mean, boom, lather. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is, did you see how little I used? Just a, just a couple of swirls. And I tend to overload on my videos, you know, make sure I got enough. And this time I purposely made sure I didn't keep swirling and swirling and swirling because I wanted to show you how much you get. Wow, look at that. This is going into the brush scuttle to stay nice and warm. I got a nice warm lather on the face. We're going to heat up this razor under some really, really hot, hot, hot water. It will retain that heat very, very well. I've already twisted it back about a quarter of a turn, maybe just under a quarter of a turn. And it's, oh, this is really, really hot. This is heating up. And then I'm going to give it a little swirl in the sink to kind of bring it to the right temperature for me. Just a little bit like that. Boom. Just a little swipe in the water. All right. Here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that is nice and warm. What a beautiful, warm razor that is. Oh, that is fantastic. These blades are wonderfully, wonderfully smooth. Wow. Very smooth. Wow. I probably could, based on the smoothness of this blade right now, next time around, when I have two days worth of growth, I'm going to open this up a little more. I'm going to open up that blade gap a little more.
That's wonderful. Wow, that is, that is very, very smooth. These are smooth. I love coated blades. Platinum and PTF coating for me is just right on the money. That's a great recipe for a nice smooth blade for me. Wow, that's... Fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Wow, that's marvelous. That's the first pass done. Let's rinse. I'm already at socially acceptable. That is remarkable. Uh, turn that aggression up a little bit on the uh, on the Copper Ascension Razor. Uh, with this blade and Formula CK6, I can run out the door and I'd be fine. That's two days worth of growth. That is really remarkable. We're gonna do a second pass uh, to really get things nice and smooth. Looks like this is, might be a two pass shave, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Nice and warm. Boy, that's nice and warm from the brush go. That is marvelous. And if I want to, and I'm going to, I'm going to warm up that razor again a uh, second time under some hot water and have that as a nice warm razor for this second pass. So enjoyable. Um, I'm sure you can imagine how great this is going to be. If you live uh, up north, like I do here in Northeast Ohio, how great this is going to be on a cold January morning in the middle of winter. Wow. Got a nice warm shave like this. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at how much lather came back with a little bit of water. And just, I, it, it's just amazing. The stuff is, the stuff is amazing. What we're going to do is we're going to snug it up and I'm going to come back about an eighth of a turn like that for pass number two. We're gonna heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. We're gonna drain the sink a little bit because it was getting kind of high there. All right, so I'm gonna heat this up under some hot, hot water. Ooh, that's good and hot. Okay, give it a quick swipe in the sink. This is all set to go. We're gonna go with pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grain. Oh, that's nice and warm, wow. These blades are fantastic. Nice blade feel, but it has a very good, smooth blade feel. It's not rough. It has a nice, sharp, smooth edge. Absolutely. I mean, it went right around the chin, no problem at all. Just right around. Oh, I'm tell I'm going to tell you right now, so I don't forget at the end. You want a great shaving experience? If you do this shave with all Phoenix shaving gear, <laughs> you're going to get a great shave. If you can't get everything all at once. Uh, this razor and this blade, fantastic. I, I mean that sincerely. I really love this, this razor because of the dual open comb, the twist adjustability, and the fact that it's made out of copper. That warmth is right there. Wow. I'm sure you've seen the heated razor from Gillette. Now, nah, don't worry about that. Just get this. Heat it up under some hot water and you're ready to go. Forgot to mention that on the uh, 
north to south with the grain pass on the upper lip underneath the nostrils this razor does a very good job and really really cleaning it up even further on the east to west very very efficient very maneuverable That's a fantastic second pass. Let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm telling you right now, this is right now, this is approaching a BBS. I don't have to do a third pass. I don't. It's fantastic. I will show you the, the lather in the knot to show you that I could do a third pass if I needed to because it generates so much lather. But two passes is all I'm going to need for this shade. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Here's my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. That's nice. <laughs> that is really... That's a smooth, close, efficient shade. Absolutely no doubt about it. Marvelous. Really, really just light on the money. Ah! All right, here's my, uh, oh yeah, water's good and cold. I'm going to get a good kick because of the menthol from the Cube 2.0 and the fact that the water's really, really cold coming out of these pipes. Cold water rinse to close my pores. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> that is a really nice kick. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That is fantastic. Marvelous. Just absolutely marvelous, marvelous shave. Really, really wonderful. Just pat the skin dry, don't rub. Just pat it dry. Well, I get it all here. Like I say, I've said before, a few viewers said, hey, you missed a spot. You know, you forgot that lather over there behind your ear, or whatever it is. Wow, that's marvelous. All right, here's my Allen block with the uh, no slip grip and the dry dock system. We're gonna run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. All right, here we go. Wow, I got a few zings. I'm telling you, that was really close. That was close and sharp and smooth and efficient. What a shave, but really delightful throughout the shave. That's the thing. Wow, just a few zings over here, and maybe, well, that's about it. That's about maybe a few here. I mean, this was really a very, very close shave. Here's the dry dock system. Going to put that in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the job drying out that Allen block. Here, let's, again, I promise you, we're going to show you the, uh, the brush, and I have more than enough here for a third pass. And look, 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 look at that. Look at that. It just lathers in a snap. Uh, I love doing the face lather, and the brush scuttle uh, has just made my face lathering all the more enjoyable because this stays nice and warm. And it, it's, it's warm right now in my hand. It is absolutely a marvelous product. This brush... Uh, with its purple handle and its clear acrylic base. Uh, it just fits so nicely in the hand. This is definitely a new favorite. I like this. This this is right up there with the StarCraft and the Peregrino for face lathering. Of course, the Atomic Rocket has the same kind of uh, handle feel. The handles are not identical. Let me show you. Let me just rinse this out a little bit here. 
just so you can get a look at it without any lather in it. I'll just show you real quickly here. The handles are, um, are, are not identical. You can see that right there. But they are similar in that this has a smaller inner diameter right here and fits nicely in the hand like that. And this is the same way, has that smaller inner diameter and fits really, really snugly in the hand like that. So that's why, that's why I say it's, it's reminiscent of the atomic rocket, even though the handle styles are different. They still have that, that similar quality of where my index finger here or my middle finger here sits right in here like that. Right there. It just, it just, it's just, it's just, just great. We'll, we will clean this later. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and finish this off with, uh, Space Nog aftershave and cologne. This is terrific stuff. Wow. So let's go ahead and just a little bit. This has got the plastic restrictor and it really controls the amount that comes out. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, it's a marvelous scent. It really, really is. Get some of this before the holiday season is over. I'm making this uh, video in December of 2021 in case you're looking at it sometime down the road. Uh, marvelous aftershave, a marvelous shave soap, wonderful, wonderful scent. The aftershave has a little bit of kick. Right now, I like that. That's fantastic. Here's the star jelly for upstairs because I did a head shave yesterday. I'm gonna use about that much. That's all I'm gonna need. Um, Oh, that's terrific. Great shave. 100% all Phoenix shaving shave with Phoenix shaving shave gear from start to finish, wire to wire. Absolutely fantastic. All made possible because of their newest product, the, strain, the Platinum Strangelet Super Sharps. These are absolutely marvelous razor blades. I'm very, very pleased by them. Delighted at how well they performed. And again, using them in the copper ascension razor with twist adjustability, I was able to open up that blade gap and really test the smoothness and efficiency of it. And for me, this was open pretty much. This was like almost a quarter turn, just a hair under a quarter turn. And for me, that's really getting up there. And again, look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. And I got to tell you, yeah, I am on my way to a BBS shave. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. And just after two passes with two days worth of beard growth, this razor and this blade, really great, great combination. I am very, very pleased with this. And of course, I'm going to shave with them again. Matter of fact, I'm going to try this blade in a variety of the Ascension uh, adjustable razors I have. I have the uh, the uh, uh, the Ascension here with the gunmetal plating and the stainless steel handle and the flare tip. I have the burnt orange tip on there right now. Let me show you that. Let me show you that right? real quickly. You know, you can get these, you can exchange these tips and get different colored tips. So I put uh, burnt orange on there. I also have red. I have I have purple too. You know what? Next time around, I should use the purple tip with the purple um, with the purple star wisp handle. I think I'm gonna do that next time. I do have the purple tip. That's kind of neat. Uh, and of course, I have the stainless steel ascension. Try it with that. Uh, I'm gonna try it with my Vikings blade adjustable razors, the Emperor Meiji, the uh, the Ragnar, uh, the Crusader. Um, the uh, Emperor and Frosted Chrome, I'm going to use those. I'm going to use the Parker Variant. I'm going to use the uh, Mercur Futur. Uh, <laughs> you know, there, is just, there are just so many adjustable lasers that I want to uh, use this blade in to really kind of push the smoothness and uh, up the, uh, up, and see, and see how far, and see how close to the edge I can get. I think these are really going to be uh, a delight in all of those adjustable razors. They are smooth, they are sharp, and they gave me a really, really terrific shave. Just absolutely marvelous, marvelous razor blade. And uh, again, 
It was an all Phoenix shaving shave. How great is that? That's absolutely marvelous. Now I'm going to have a link for all these products below right there at the top of the description. Uh, so uh, really, I, I can't encourage you enough. Get an Ascension razor. If you, if, you, if you don't want to get the copper one for whatever reason, this one right here, the Flare Tip Ascension, uh, is very, very well priced. It is very, very good. It has nice weight. A stainless steel handle, uh, zinc, uh, gunmetal plated razor head, twist adjustability, double open comb, and the flare tip as well. So that is a, a good selection too, and I look forward to using these blades in uh, that particular Ascension razor as well. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Platinum, strange, but super sharps. These are absolutely wonderful. Check these out. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marks where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.